Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to get a good scan out of this uh, 3D scanner, the MAF3. And the test subject today will be this uh, donut duck. As you can see that it has two uh, contrast color. One side is white and light blue color. On the other side is a uh, metallic color. And the left eye has the uh, transparent materials over it. To uh, get a good scan, I need to try with the exposure setting and see how much the scanner can capture uh, this surface without spraying. In the control panel, I will uh, click on X scan and I probably need to adjust the position of the scanner. I don't want to curve it many times, so I will scan in this the upright position and this horizontal position and probably one more in the back like this. Uh, I will curve it only one time. Okay, look like we have a focus in the center of the object and if I um, lay it down like this, I still have the focus in the center. Okay, focus is still in the center. So let's try the test chart. See um, how much the scanner can capture. In the camera setting, uh, just the exposure. And in the capture menu, there's scan density, uh, medium and high. I'm going to talk about this later. High will give you a higher uh, definition of the scan uh, if the object is small. I mean, uh, if you can place the object within the inner circle, of the turntable is considered to be small and you can use the high setting for the scan density if the object is a bit larger i mean it's in the second or third cycle uh, of the turntable you should probably use the medium setting because the scanner has to be back off a bit and and you're not gonna get the highest resolution anyway i will capture with the texture and for the turntable i will turn it off because uh, i want to do a test scan I click on start scan. Okay, I turn off the texture. You can see that. So uh, this half of the toy is not scanned well. It's a uh, metallic color. So I will probably need to spray this um, object before I start uh, scanning. So I'm going to delete this one and I'm going to spray it and come back later. So I'm going to use a hook to grab it and let's spray it. Uh, when you make a spray, you should spray in a different room from the scanner because the scanner has the internal fans and it will pull in the dust and I don't think it will come out so it has optical lenses inside and you should spray the scan object in a different room So uh, do a second test Okay, now it's look uh, much better. All the eyes and uh, silver color is uh, captured. So I use this setting. I'm going to turn on the turntable because uh, we can capture a lot of uh, surface and uh, six scan will be enough in one round. I will color away the table. I think I spray too much coating here. It's cover all the color. So I think I'm gonna brush it off a bit so that the color will be exposed a little bit more. Okay, now I make a very thin layer of spray so that I still can see the color uh, underneath. So uh, if I put the spray too thick, I won't be able to see the color. I just need to remove the reflection. I rinse with the water and uh, air dry it and uh, respray it with a thinner layer. So I'm going to make a new scan with a, a light spray. Okay, look at our scan here. It's also come with a texture preview. I turn off the texture preview. It's like uh, I need to scan the back here. Uh, you can notice that uh, the scanner remove everything under the table. 
so anything under the feet of the duck is removed quite nice okay I make a second scan Turn him to the side, like this, move a bit to the center. Fess him down, like so. Okay. I will auto align it. I use the first scan as reference and the second scan as the alignment scan. Okay, first and second scan is done. Okay, next I will align the third scan to the first one. Auto and first scan as the reference, third scan as the alignment scan. Okay, so there, so here. Look like. Um, we have everything in the front. Okay, next I will align the uh, fourth scan to the first one. Fourth scan as the reference. Fourth scan as alignment. Okay, so here, four scans. Uh, there is very small amount of uh, noise to clean up. It's the first time that I use lasso tools. Okay, next I will um, merge the scan, all four scan. I click on visible only. So now all four scan will be merged. Okay, next I will uh, click on mesh. Okay, from the uh, step one is complete. You can click on add to project and export this mesh without the color texture. But the quality will be different. I'm going to explain this uh, later. And if you continue to uh, step two and choose the, I slide the polygon to uh, almost one million here and click on simplify and convert. Uh, the mesh from the step one and step two will look different. So I'm going to uh, make a step two conversion. It's going to take about, uh, about 10 minutes. Okay, here's the mesh result in the step two. Uh, when you export this and put into a render scene, a uh, mesh from step two will have a higher quality than a mesh that export in the step one. I'm gonna show this later. And when you use this slider to export the mesh in the step two, you can do the maximum faces only one million. If I exceed the one million faces, the, the scanner will crash. Step three, it will just put the texture back into the model which doesn't take a long time okay here's the step three it's the color texture add to the project and then i will uh, export this and check for the result before we look into the result of the scan i would like to show you uh, the difference of the mesh quality that were exported from a different step from the MAF tree so here is a high point cloud setting from the step one it has some of the artifacts uh, from this process and if i move to step two and it look much better than the mesh that exported from the step one and if you move to the medium point cloud setting and export in step one it's the same as the high setting there are still uh, artifacts show in the mesh and also if i put the process to the step two all the artifacts is gone and if i will compare the result from the high point cloud setting and the medium point cloud setting uh, you can see that the high point cloud setting give uh, more detail than the medium setting in the back is almost the same but if you look from the front 
the high setting will give a little bit more uh, detail than the medium setting. Okay, let's take a look at the result from MAF3. Uh, this is the 3D scan model with the high setting. Look at the detail of the texture. It's a little rougher here in the area with the metallic color, but the area with the a lighter color is uh, very smooth. I think this will be the best detail that you can get from this um, miniature. Okay, I bring in the color texture, and here's uh, with the color texture. You can see that the position of the color it's uh, matching uh, the original model. There is no color shifting, but the color tone is uh, wrong. It's not. It's incorrect, and there is an easy way to fix it. So if you are in the export folder, you will see this uh, texture files and I will open it with the uh, Affinity Photo. It's just um, a photo editing software. So after I open it, uh, I will click here, uh, Auto Levels, and then I will click Auto Contrast, and then I will click Auto Colors, and then I will click Auto White Balance, and then I will uh, save it. Uh, now you can see that the model on the most left uh, with the color tone adjustment in the photo editing software uh, has much accurate color tone than the uh, model that come out from the 3D scanner. A few clicks in the photo editing software adjusting the white balance and level and the contrast of the color. Okay, let's compare the result with other 3D scanner. In the middle, we have a laptop pro and on the right, we have the author. Uh, let's take a look at the color. I would say that the MAF3 gives the most realistic color and second to that would be the laptop pro color tone is quite correct but the detail of the color is uh, much lower than the MAF3 if i will zoom in you will see that you look at the fit here the the danger sign and the small buttons on the on the chest of the donut dock and uh, uh, there's small color shifting you can see that the lead color goes down here and and you can see there's some lead color on the head which is the, supposed to be a blue color but if you compare it with the MAF3 if I zoom in closer you see that the danger sign here is uh, much uh, sharper and clear and the color give more depth to the a lander scene because uh, the quality of the camera, the left eyes look more real and there is no color shifting to be found in this model. And if I look at uh, the author, the author is the, has the worst color. The color tone is wrong and it has a uh, color shifting everywhere. And the eye which is um, translucent uh, the author doesn't do very well uh, all three were scanned with the same model uh, with a light spray take a closer look at the mesh quality uh, MAF3 and Laptop Pro is almost identical I scan Laptop Pro in uh, three scans and merge together and MAF3 uh, is the fastest to get the result uh, next to that will be uh, the author and MAF3 uh, require at least involve of the user and when you look at the mesh quality high definition I cannot tell which one is sharper than the other one but the laptop pro has a smoother surface on the side where it has a metallic color a little bit smoother and the other has the uh, weakest detail lowest definition and uh, look at the completeness of the model you see here uh, if you look at the laptop on the top of the head, it has some uh, defects, uh, probably from uh, merging of the scan, and also it has uh, defects on the hands, which not found here. MAF3 and Laptop Pro has a similar price. Uh, talking about the price, MAF3 has a lower their price. Uh, they give a special price. Uh, this month, in March 2025, price was uh, 2399 US dollar now is uh, reduced to uh, 1499 US dollar and they will keep this uh, price for about one month 
Okay, um, thanks you guys for uh, watching. I will see you in the next video.